Good morning, it's MJ, the creator of the Crow Tarot and the Wise Dog. Thank you so much for joining me this beautiful Sunday. It is July 28th and this is the general reading for the collective using the Wise Dog. This is my mock-up deck. This is not obviously the real, the finished product. This is the deck I made just to make sure that I reviewed it before sending it off to the printer so that I I had um, a working deck that I could go over, make sure there were any typos. As you guys probably saw, there was like a couple typos, or at least there was one typo that was fixed before it went to the printer. So that's why I like having these mock-up decks. It definitely, oops, it comes in handy. So, and because I cut them myself, they are not, <laughs> they, are, they are not perfect. And the edges are kind of thick. So I can't wait till I get the deck as well. I know you guys have been waiting. Oh, I feel exhausted. I literally, I feel like I gave birth. You know, like a long, <laughs> a long exhausting birth. Okay, so let's, and I'm, now I'm just waiting to be able to hold the baby. <laughs> so let's see what the cards bring to us today. So the first card we start off with is that energy where we are in this moment in time. And look, we have strength. This is our own personal power, our ability to, you know, see the world not from a place of being reactionary, but from a place of maturity and understanding. So we allow others to show themselves and accept who they are without judgment. However, we still hold on to our truth. We don't relinquish that. We just don't feel a need to let our ego get in the way when it comes to strength. Okay, the next card we have is the energy that's coming at us, coming towards us. And here we have the six of wands and this is a time of victory, time of feeling good about what you've accomplished. I feel like we saw the Six of Wands earlier last week. And finally, the next card is the advice. And this is, think about the dogs going out into the field, sniffing around. What do they bring back to us? The Magician. Let's get started, shall we? So, at our current time, this, this moment that we are in right now, we are being supplied with a little extra grace. We're being supplied with that little extra confidence, you know, to, to approach a situation that may be difficult or a person who may be testing our, our resolve. It may be a situation where you know, if you were to just let loose and let your your wild tendencies run amok, could cause some problems. So this is a time of personal restraint. This is where you you use those soft skills. You know that the the way that you interact with other people with understanding, but at the same time, you know you have an idea, you have an agenda, what you want to achieve, but you don't force your way to that to the end. Right? You don't force your way to the conclusion that you, you seek. Instead, you know, you, you kind of like wait, you hold back and you listen. And, you know, you, you see how the other person is reacting. And then you play upon that. And it's, it's a skill. Strength is a skill. This is not something that, um, you know, I feel like we come out of the womb having. Some, some old souls, some children seem to pick it up quicker than others. But overall, this is something that we learn in time. You know, I mean, if you look back at how you reacted to situations as a teenager, you know, especially like your first job, how things you may have, you know, you may have seen actions as like being slights or unfair. Now you look back and you go, oh, well, I understand, you know, well, you know, they, that was probably the best decision for the time. Or, you know, you're able to not take it personally or whatever, and you're able to um, step back you know, and, and remove yourself from a situation perhaps that 
isn't fulfilling or that isn't um, serving your higher good. So here we are in this moment of strength and here we have this ability to tap into it, give, a, give us that extra boost if, if we have been perhaps lacking it. Um, and because of that, because we're capable of restraint and we're capable of you know, holding on to our truths without feeling this need to pressure other people in a way that's domineering, you know, we allow for more possibilities to come in. We work with our wild side. We tame our wild side so that we can extract out of it the, the, the stuff that's beneficial, you know, the, the, the courage, <laughs> perhaps, that ability to stand in your truth. And so here, the energy that's coming towards us, the energy that is going to be, you know, um, influencing our strength is the six of, of wands. And this is a time of feeling triumphant, of feeling, you know, like in the victory circle where you are admired, perhaps, for your restraint. This is a time where you come together um, with ideas and, and a creative solutions that benefit not just yourself, but others. So if you think about this, maybe, you know, in the context of work or within like the family dynamic, where you have to stand strong, where you have, you can't let perhaps issues or stresses, um, you know, interfere with your day-to-day -day chores, you know, or your day-to-day -day responsibilities at the job. And this is where you have to come up with positive solutions that not only will benefit you, but will benefit others, and they will admire you for it. So this is really a time for you to just, you know, hold, hold still, observe your situation, know that you have the power to speak your mind, you have the power to win over other people without being, you know, a, a bully or a brute. You have the power to um, take into consideration all the other factors that are involved at this time and to blend them together. And I kind of see that with the magician here where you're able to you know, think of like that alchemist who has that ability to take, you know, one ingredient and another ingredient and then you know combine all these ingredients together to create something magical and i feel like that's what's happening here with today's reading is that you have this strength this inner power this this beautiful source energy that's just radiating from you you know that you you can stand up and you can hold your 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 yourself with pride and confidence and in doing that you allow your creative mind to flourish. You, you know, you're no longer concerned about what maybe perhaps what other people think, right? Or how you're going to win over other people because that, that part of you is tame. That part of you is, is resting. You're able to let your creativity show. And when you let your creativity out, that is where those ideas that will benefit other people will come in. So when you combine all of these elements together, when you combine your strength, your creativity, your willingness to be a team player, your willingness to step up and put yourself out there and to be vulnerable and to express your ideas without fear, you know, that you may be, you know, criticized or, you know, without fear of vulnerability. When you do all of those things, not only are you going to bring something that's going to benefit, you know, not just yourself, but others, but you're going to find that you're going to attract people who are going to look at you perhaps in a new light. They may see you as a leader. They may see you as somebody who is, um, you know, a, a champion for a cause. Even if that cause is just to fix something that's broken at work, you know, whether that be a system or, you know, a process or whatever that may be, or, you know, a champion in your own family, perhaps, if you need to come together with, you know, your siblings to solve a problem, you know, your strength and your ability to detach emotionally from the situation and to see clearly all the different possibilities, let your creative mind explore all the different possibilities. It's going to enable you to 
bring something forward that's going to benefit everyone. And so here, this magician in the wise dog deck, unlike like in the crow deck where the magician is like um, very fiery, uh, you know, in the in the um, ma the magician for the wise dog deck is very healing, in that it creates change, it creates um, it creates a, a sense of well being, it eases a situation, it 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 is. It is very powerful in that it can transform a time of stress into a time of healing or a time of feeling anxiety or you know out of sorts into a time where you feel like you're in control. And what it does is it uses the power, uh, that healing power that like if you imagine like holding a dog, you know, or a cat or whatever animal, how that sort of just comes through, right? Like all of a sudden, like the, it's like a giant exhale. And in that exhale, there's change. And so that's how the magician for this deck manifests change. It's in that exhale. It's in that ability to bring um, people or, you know, elements or energies together in a way that is harmonious. And that will spark action. So, just to summarize here, you know, it's like em embrace this moment that we're in. If you're not feeling the strength, tap into it. You know, if you can take some time to meditate, you know, meditate on areas where you can, you know, pull up and out this element of strength, where you can harness it, you know, where you can tame those wild thoughts so that you can free that space up in your brain, you know, where you can... You can make room for creative thinking and new ideas and new solutions that will help your, your situation or will help uh, um, those around you perhaps, you know, benefit. So again, connect, connect with your soul, connect with an animal, connect with other people in a way that's loving that offers comfort, and through that comfort, you will find change. That comfort, that ability to connect on a deeper level, on a soul level, when you open your, your heart up to other people, you know, when you extend a hand to those in need, it's like, that's where the magic is going to come. So, anyway, I hope this reading makes sense, and um, much love to you, and I will check back on Monday, so have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and if you're looking for the Crow Tarot reading, it will be over on my Patreon page, so hop on over there next, and check out and see what the crows have in store for you today, so much love, bye for now, peace.